Hey friends, this is Vimal here and welcome to my channel Phoenix Creative Studios. And today I'm going to introduce a new segment called Technozone where I will be bringing new technologies, new gadgets and providing you user experiences and uh, installation guides, tips and tricks and all that information. So let's get started. Today we are going to talk about the Ecobee Smart Thermostat with voice control. This is the successor for Ecobee 4 which is currently in market and uh, for some reason Ecobee decided not to go with the usual naming convention like Ecobee 4, Ecobee 5, Ecobee 6. Instead Ecobee decided to go with Ecobee Smart Thermostat with voice control. Okay, let's stick to Ecobee 5 throughout the video. Uh, before moving into Ecobee Smart Thermostat, let me first tell you how I was introduced to the world of Smart Thermostat. So I went to a friend's place and he had Google Nest Thermostat already at his place and it looked really cool and futuristic. So I asked him like what is this thing and how does it work? My friend explained all those things which he knew about that thermostat and I really felt like I should be you know getting more details on the Smart Thermostat. So my curious mind actually you know started searching more on and started digging more on a smart thermostat front. I am basically using a very old thermostat which does the basic function of turn on, turn off and set to a particular temperature. No programming, nothing. So I had to go for a smart thermostat. I'll be explaining now what a Ecobee 5 smart thermostat does or basically any smart thermostat what it does so that you guys can take an informed decision if you guys would be needing a smart thermostat at your place or not. So while I was researching and gathering more information on a smart thermostat I came up with like few convincing points which enabled me to come up to a decision like I need to go for a smart thermostat. So the first one is easy control. So Ecobee and any other smart thermostat, they are connected to Wi-Fi and they will be having an app or you can log on to their website and then you can control your smart thermostat literally from anywhere in the world. Just one factor, you need to have an internet, only then you will be able to control. <laughs> Apart from easy control, the next point which a smart thermostat helps in is cost saving. Well, to be honest, I believe like any thermostat can help you in cost saving, but a smart thermostat will make it easy. Any smart thermostat will be having a cost efficient mode. Ecobee also has that, it's called Eco Plus. And Eco Plus is nothing but an alg artificial intelligent algorithm which will monitor your usage, your occupancy at home, your days of av availability, your vacation modes and all those things. And based on that, it will turn on and off the furnace automatically that's why I said like any thermostat will be helping you in cost savings but a smart thermostat will make it easy the next one is trackings and predictions so the, the Ecobee website will be having a lot of reports of regarding your Ecobee thermostat uh, based on your usage your patterns and all those things all kind of reports will be at your fingertips and there will be suggestions provided by Ecobee which you can you know take a look and consider if you need and that will also further help you in more cost savings. Who doesn't want to save more money? <laughs> and there's more to it. Since Ecobee is connected to your Wi-Fi, it will be monitoring your local weather and it will be showing the local weather as well. So. If there is any fluctuations in your weather, like if it gets too cold or too hot and suddenly it rains or something like that, it will give you a warning like there is a weather change, do you want to consider your temperature to be changed or not? That's what I call a smart thermostat. Alright, so that was about a smart thermostat and somewhat information about the ECB smart thermostat. Let's jump into more details. So this is the package of Ecobee Smart Thermostat and it already comes with a room sensor or a smart sensor. So I purchased this brand new Ecobee 5 from eBay. So this complete thing was for $190 and I got an additional smart sensor along with it. It was somewhere around $30. So the total cost for this was $220. A financial tip from an Indian guy. Don't share it with anyone, but share the video. My local electric and gas companies were having a $50 rebate each for using a smart thermostat at their end. 
So what I did was get my eBay invoice and apply an online rebate at the electric and gas vendors website individually. And guess what? I received a $50 from each of them. And that brought down my cost to $120. And you can thank me later. So give it a try at your end. Another thing is like my utility company also had a marketplace which provided the Ecobee smart thermostat for $149, but I didn't have an additional sensor with it. That would have brought my cost to $150 plus a $30 additional sensor, which will bring my cost to $180. Still, I'm saving with $120 if I'm buying from eBay and getting an online rebate. The rebate might take you two to three weeks to get approved and get your checks. And in marketplace, it was instant. So that's the only difference I saw. So guys, by this time, you should be having a good idea like if you would be needing a smart thermostat and how you can purchase one without spending a fortune. Now, without wasting much time, let's go ahead and open up this bad boy. So what I have here is a nicely wrapped Ecobee 5 box. So let's open it up. All right, so this looks very neat and simplistic packing from Ecobee. I like it. So this is the Ecobee smart thermostat unit uh, with the glossy front. This should be the screen over here. I'm not sure if you're able to see it. And probably the sensors. The back side, I can see a microphone or maybe the speaker. And maybe this should be the ventilation for the unit. And this is the smart sensor which we got along with the box. So this would be a descriptive uh, installation guide. Uh, this is the back panel which goes into the wall and probably we need to place the Ecobee like that. This is the installation stickers I guess which will come handy during our installation. This is a very descriptive and high level overview of the complete uh, unit and uh, how to operate it. This would be the back panel for the Ecobee uh, smart thermostat. And we have a level over over here. The idea is to keep the bubble in between the two lines so that you know like you have placed it properly uh, onto the wall. So this goes on top of the back panel and then your unit and make sure like you need to align all the grooves into the respective slots into the back panel. And we have some of the screws and holders for the back panel it seems. And this would be the stand for the smart sensor. This is a magnetized one. And what we have here is the power extender kit. So uh, your Ecobee would be needing a C wire. Uh, so you need to check your furnace uh, wiring, like if it does have a C wire or not. If you don't have a C wire, you need to you know, opt for power extender kit or some other workarounds, which I'll be explaining. So that my friends was unboxing Ecobee 5. So guys, now that we have seen what's inside the Ecobee 5 smart thermostat, we will be ending our first part over here. So I had planned the Ecobee 5 smart thermostat walkthrough videos into two parts. So just to summarize, in this video, we saw like what a smart thermostat does and how you can purchase one without spending a fortune and what's inside the Ecobee 5 smart thermostat box. In the second part, what I have for you guys is the installation, the complete installation of Ecobee 5 and we'll be discussing the main key pointers which enabled me to purchase Ecobee 5 over Google Nest. So guys, that was it. So thank you so much for staying till the end of the video. I know it was a pretty big video, but this being my first video, I would like any kind of, you know, appreciation or encouragements or suggestions, feedbacks, anything like if you want to mention, like mention it in the comments. If you like the video, just like the video and probably, you know, share it with your friends. And I would love if you guys can subscribe to my channel and you guys will be notified of the new videos which I'll be uploading in the future. If you want to go ahead and watch the second part, you can click on the above link over here. That's all from my end. Thank you so much once again. And I'll be back.